And I know a lot of people kind of want this. We want exclusives for our Xbox, but this is actually not what Microsoft is trying to do. Thanks for joining me back here in the Xbox basement, everybody. If you guys have ever owned an Xbox or a PlayStation or a Nintendo, or honestly any video game console ever, I'm sure you've heard this argument of exclusives, 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 and that exclusives drive console sales, and that Microsoft is the absolute worst when it comes to exclusives on their Xbox console. I'm sure you've heard these statements, usually from primarily PlayStation people, that say, ah, oh, Xbox doesn't have any exclusives, which is of course ridiculous because because every console has their exclusives, but I think it's really just more of a fighting point to try to say, hey, our exclusives on PlayStation or our exclusives on Nintendo are just a lot better than your exclusives over there on Xbox. Now, I'm not here to debate on who has better things or which console overall is better. That's always a matter of opinion. I am asking, are exclusives actually bad for you and for me as gamers? And let's look at some reasons why. Number one, it forces you into a specific specific console. There are some fantastic games on PlayStation that I would not buy into because I don't want to buy a PlayStation 5 to play these games. The investment of a $500 console and then the acquisition of these $70, $80 games, I feel is too much money just to play a video game. And because of that cause, you are inevitably going to not be able to reach certain people that would like to play this game. I had a user comment, I think a game company should focus on the game solely on the console it was released on. Now the user commented that if a company makes a game, it deserves to be exclusively on their console. And I am inclined to agree. I don't feel like we should be forcing companies to put a game on every single console that it possibly can, because at some point of porting these games over to other consoles, you're going to lose quality because the original focus is not there. Another user just made a flat out comment of exclusives need to go away forever and games should be playable to whomever wants to play them and i know a lot of people kind of want this we want exclusives for our xbox or we want our exclusives for our playstation or for our nintendo console but this is actually not what microsoft is trying to do i made a video all about how microsoft is trying to get their xbox everywhere and how they've actually had talks with sony and nintendo about getting game pass onto their console and this actually proves that Microsoft is not really worried about exclusives. Microsoft is primarily worried about getting games into people's hands and then reaping the benefit of having all the licenses to make money to continue and make things sustainable. And we saw this a couple months ago with Microsoft bringing four previously exclusives like Sea of Thieves and Grounded to PlayStation and Nintendo consoles. And I think a lot of people will look at this as like a hugely negative thing for or Xbox, but this is actually a good thing for gamers. Sea of Thieves and Grounded, these are going to add a massive player base to an already growing game. Some people are gonna think, oh, this means that Microsoft is failing. What Microsoft is doing is not worried so much about their exclusives only on their consoles. They wanna get these games out everywhere. The more people that are playing on Sea of Thieves or playing on Grounded is going to be better overall for us as gamers. When exclusives are gone, we are the ones that win. And I'm not predicting that that will absolutely happen, especially with the old ingrained IPs from Nintendo. And Sony has been extremely staunch about not even releasing day one their exclusives onto their streaming service. And I think Microsoft is stepping out boldly to grab as many players and as many sales as they can. And Spencer has said, I do have a fundamental belief that over the next five or 10 years, exclusive games are going to be a smaller and smaller part of the game industry. Somebody has to take that first step and I applaud Microsoft for being the ones willing to do this. Thanks for checking out the video today, everybody. Let me know your thoughts on no more exclusives. My name is John and we will see you guys in the next one.